Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at how to create Amiga ADF files. You may know this if you have ever installed some stuff in an Amiga hard disk file. You need a tool to unpack these LHA files. Um, you might want to have sysinfo and stuff like that. And maybe you can't file a ready-made ADF file, which you can just transfer to the Amiga. So you're out of luck. You have to make your own ADF file. So in this video, I'm showing you how to make an ADF file for your Amiga, which you can then also copy to a real disk if you like that. So let's get started. In order to create an ADF file, you need a tool which is called ADF Opus and we go to a website which is called adfopus.sourceforge.net and this tool is from 2003 so this is uh, it's quite some age and I don't expect a new version uh, anytime soon so you just go to download and download the latest version of the ADF Opus 1.1 underscore 2 exe and if you install that, you get the ADF Opus program. And if you start ADF Opus, you get just that window with the Windows directory screen. And what you can do now is you can go to File, New, and create a new ADF file. And you can just name this any way you like. Call this My ADF. You can tell it if it's just a standard disk image or a high density disk image, or you can even create a hard file. But I'm not going to into, into this today. I'm just using the standard disk image ADF can select uh, different flags down here for bootable directory caching stuff like that we, we just ignore that we call this my ADF and we want to open this after creating we click create and we get an empty window in which we can now put some programs and I have some programs prepared here And to copy these programs, you can see these are LHA, which are the packed programs. So you have to install the um, unpacker for that, the LHARC, and you just drag and drop these. No, you don't. So to copy files over, you go to this window right here and you navigate to your folder which is in desktop and then Amiga and then you have here the various files you can just pull them over the caveat here is that you can't just drag and drop stuff from the file system of the Windows machine you have to open it in this um, window right here to drag it over and then you just create you can see it's too much for one disk, so this says no. And you have your ADF file. And since we already created it, it's auto-updating, so you don't have to save or anything. Just close it up, and we have our ADF file. Okay, it created my ADF file in Win32, so you might want to change the path for that. So I will now create it on the desktop. Let's do this again. We call this my ADF again. ADF, of course, leave all the rest except for that and create. And I didn't check the open after creation, so we have to open it manually, which is not a big deal. On the desktop, my ADF, and there we are. And we can just copy these files over here. Nice. Okay. And we close this up. And now if we open it again, it should have all the files. Yeah, and there we are. And just like that, you get an ADF file, which you can then use inside all the emulators or PyStorm or whatever. Or the mister can, of course, um, edit these properties right here. You can make this read writable, executable, deletable, whatever. You can also use ADF Opus to um, take a look inside already existing ADF files, like I have Alien Syndrome here. If I open this up, you can see what files are in here. 
And since this is a bootable disk, it also has a C directory and all that. Let's check, ah, up one level, right mouse click. Yeah, here's a startup sequence file. Now we could probably open this with some text viewer. Yeah, here we are. So this is what's executed when the disk is inserted and auto booting. That's kind of a script. Yeah, you can even view this inside here. Okay, so to copy the ADF file over, you just use a USB, USB stick um, or you use it inside your um, WinUAE emulator. Yeah, so that's uh, it for this video. Hope this was uh, interesting or useful for you. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Retro is the New Black. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. If you like the video, please share. Every like, share, and comment helps a lot. Until next time, bye bye.